How many times have I interviewed Delaney Walker since 2013? How many times would you guess? How many times have we just spoken in a setting where it's been taped for radio, television, or podcast? I'll we'll say about five or six. No, maybe. more than that. Five or six a year. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. I, I get what I was getting at, though, is so I, I try to give you something different every time. So I'm studying, I'm looking. The only thing I found this time that was this consistent pattern, watching old interviews, listening to old interviews, and reading interviews, you are blunt. Yeah. Obviously, I don't like uh, sitting on the sidelines watching the game. But today's football, it's a lot different. A lot of these guys can't take that. A lot of these guys don't like to be called out. They want to fight or they want to be traded. We came here for two reasons. Chew some bubble gum and kick some ass. And we all out of bubble gum. You are a blunt guy. Have you always been like that? I've always been taught to say what's on my mind, you know. Who taught you that? My mom, you know, I, I think just watching her, she had never hold back. She always said what was on her mind. And I think you are what you see, you know, and I've seen my mom doing that my entire life and she still do it, even to me. So it just carried over. I don't, I don't want to be fake. So I just try to say what's real. And if they don't like it, then I guess you won't be my friend at the end of the day. That comes from a total lack of fear. People who are like that, who don't have the BS meter, who just are blunt, aren't scared. That certainly fits you, right? Yeah, I would say uh, I'm not scared of most things. I mean, what are you scared of? I mean, I think everyone is scared of dying. Um, so that, that, that's one of my biggest fears. Maybe just not being able to accomplish my goals may scare me. I don't know if that's People look at that and just be like, I'm cocky or whatnot, but I think them are the type of things that should scare anyone. But that's good fear because that's motivating, Very right? Very true, yeah. Have you ever been afraid on the football field? No, never on the football field. I, I, I feel like on the football field, I, at the end of the day, I done worked so hard. I didn't put so much into this. Like, why let another man scare me when at the same, that we doing the exact same thing. So I shouldn't be, afraid it's a game at the end of the day and we all play it the same way so I don't think I'm scared when I'm on the field. Did you ever see it going this long when you started out? What was the goal when you started out? Maybe like eight years. I think I used to tell my mom I'm gonna play for like eight years and she was like that's a long time you know and now we talk about 14 years she's like you know you, that's a very long time that you've been playing it. I never thought that I'll be in the league 14 years and be at this level that I'm at right now, but I'm happy. You know, I'm happy about all of the things I've done, the goals I've set. Hopefully I can play some more years.